Well, welcome aboard this edition of Wild Goose Adventures. We're heading into a very interesting time of the year, storm season. Traditionally, we have four seasons, summer, fall, winter, spring. All works pretty well, doesn't it? The bachelor people have more like nine or 11 seasons and I'm working to try and find out and get the names that they call it. But here as a sailor, I tend to think of the time between maybe March, April as the wet season and not normally very much wind, June, July, and a bit of August we get our uh, trade wind season where we get lots of strong winds perfect to go cruising then we move into September where we traditionally get a lot of strong westerlies followed by October November and storm season and lastly we get November through to February March and that is of course cyclone season right now we're just heading into storm season and there's plenty of activity around so we're going to head out go sailing go to some of these beautiful places and hopefully we don't get those cells coming through and belting us too much we've got to be prepared for it but know that the squalls only tend to last 15 20 maybe half an hour but they're pretty intense when they come through so you've got to keep an eye out for it let out lots of anchor chain and just be ready for what Mother Nature dishes us up. I'm back here at Kingfisher Bay and I love filling up my water from here. The water tastes great. It's a bit more effort to get it back to the boat, but it's worth it because the water is absolutely beautiful to drink and just really clean and pure. There's a bit of breeze coming up at the moment and normally in a northerly I would be well and truly out of here. It's a not very pleasant place on the goose, but as it turns out, I think it's gonna be a perfect day for a wingding. So I'm not gonna be sitting on the boat. Please forgive me, goose, because it's gonna make life a little bit bumpier for you. But I'm gonna fill up the water, and then we're gonna go out and have a bit of a foil. Let's sheet on and get all this done. With the morning chores done, the clear skies and the nicely building breeze gave way to a wall of clouds with a distinctively more ominous tone. A quick check of the radar confirmed that a line of cells was gathering to the north and a top priority was to ditch the foiling plans and batten down in preparation for a nasty storm.
With the storm moving rapidly, venting its anger further down the straits, the skies cleared, leaving an evening that showed no hint of the damage left in its trail. And so the drying out process begins. Well, that's it for this episode of Wild Goose Adventures. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was insightful in some way. If you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment below. It would be much appreciated if you would. And until next time, smooth sailing.